The 23-year-old version of Pappy Van Winkle is going for over $5,000 on some secondary sites. I don't know who's paying that for it because I don't have that much money in my bourbon budget. So if I want to know what it tastes like, I'm going to have to blend up this crap from YouTubers tasting notes and give it a try. My name is TJ Gamble and this is Bruzel, which is just an elaborate attempt to make my bourbon selection a tax deduction. If you don't take things too seriously and you like having a good time with your whiskey and you want to help me meet my tax objectives, then consider subscribing and let's get right into it. I have a 15-year-old bottle of Pappy Van Winkle that I absolutely adore, but I really want to try the 23-year-old variant as well. So we're going to take the tasting notes from It's Bourbon Night and we're going to compare them to my Pappy 15. Sarah. What's in the bag? What's in the bag? It's Pappy 23. Wow. That is just a nose chock full of <laughs> wood. <laughs> wood. Yeah. Super oaky, some nice char. To get the barrel char, we're going to use our smoker kit here. We're going to throw some oak chips here, and then we are going to char them. And I feel like it's enough char whenever the smoke alarm goes off. Oh, wait, we don't have a smoke alarm. This is fine. If we can't shut that airflow down, stop it from smoking, we'll put those charred oak bits in the bottom. Of course, Buffalo Trace is where it's made now nowadays. It's the weeded mash bill, the same ash bowl that's shared with the Weller line. The 23-year-old Pappy Van Winkle is 96 proof, I believe. So we're actually gonna start a little lower proof with Weller Special Reserve. It's kind of a clove, spice, and tobacco, the leather. Yeah, I get a lot that, of that. That come along with the age. We overdid it on the clove last time and it about killed us. So we're gonna, we're gonna be a little more careful here with the clove. They said tobacco? Yeah. It gets a little softer mm -hmm. at, towards the finish and becomes a little bit more, you know, those caramely vanilla -y notes. Caramel vanilla notes. So we've got a little caramel and just a hint of vanilla. Mm, also some cigar. different type of citrus. Like if you could get like a really uh, young lemon. Like a lemon. It's like hybrid a, orange. Young lemon hybrid orange. Yeah, in the very beginning, I feel like I'm biting into a fruit that I've never tasted before. Like I'm on some tropical island where only that fruit grows, and I'm like, I'm gonna call this chadberries or whatever. I don't know, I don't know what I would call it. Probably, probably wouldn't call it that. Um, but I bite into it and I'm like, this is new and different. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with chadberries. This chadberries taste like chadberries. <laughs> so those are our tasting notes. Time to blend her up and give her a try. While we're mixing this up, why don't you go ahead and give us a subscribe? All right, let's give her a try. We are going to start with a little Pappy 15 right here. And that already smells delicious. Make sure these are not close enough to splash anything in there. This one just smells like a cigar shop, which is not completely different than what they said. As you can see, obviously our clarity is a little off still. We, we've got to figure that out. But let's start with this guy and then we'll finish with the pappies. Get a little air on it, a little oxygen, you know. It's a little frothy. Clove again, clove, tobacco. I don't know if I want to do one with clove in it again. I'm going to be honest with you. That is so, we didn't do a lot of clove. It's so strong. <sighs> so just all tobacco and clove and bitterness. That's, that's horrible. I'm going to never get that taste out of my mouth. Oh, let's go with some pappies. Let's try some pappies. My palate is so wrecked. I hate to even try it. I'm not feel like I'm appreciating that near as much as I should. Let me know your thoughts. Have you tried Pappy 23? Uh, what are your tasting notes on it? And what do you think about these crazy bottle prices? 